want to learn how to make your dream of homeownership a reality this year, stay tuned. Welcome to Step Into the Valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to make your dream of home ownership a reality. Because you know what? There's never a wrong time to start planning, even if your goal to buy a home is not tomorrow, not today, not six months from now, maybe it's a year from now or more. But it's a good time to start looking at it and planning. And let's get into the first one, because as we get through our steps here, you're gonna see why. Now the first step is to take the step into learning the home buying process and know how much home you could afford with a mortgage. There's a lot of factors in the whole home buying process and there's none of them you can really ignore. But here's the first ones to really, really think about and focus. And that's how long do you plan on living in the area you're thinking about buying? Is it two years, five years, 10 years? Until the kids graduate high school? Maybe your retirement, maybe forever. And there's also, speaking of kids, is there a school district you prefer to live in? Thinking about the area and all that good stuff. Next one is commute. How far is the commute from your work? Now, if you're not working from home all the time, you will have a drive into work. So is the commute something that's manageable for you and your family? And then there's a big one. How much home can you afford? I'm not just talking about your mortgage payments, but also your down payment. Because yes, you've got to qualify for the amount of the home, but you also need to make sure you have enough money for your down payment saved up, which you guessed it took us to step number two, making sure you have enough down payment for the purchase of your home. I think you could have guessed that one. So a lot of people have the mis understanding or misinformation that you have to have at least $20,000 ready and available for your down payment, which is actually not true. There are loan programs out there where you could do 5% down, you could do 3 and 3.5% three and down. So let's say, let's just put the number out there. Let's say you're buying an average sales price home of $550 here in Tracy and you're putting 3.5% down. That means your down payment's gonna be $19,250. So under $20,000. Do you have $20,000 saved up? And you know where that's gonna take us to step number three? Start saving. $20,000 is a lot of money. So if you don't have that readily available, it's time to start saving for that. Because you're not only going to need money for the down payment, but you're also going to need money for your moving expenses. So, and you might be thinking, well, gosh, we're already saving money, but it's hard to save it. Save $20,000. I totally get that because I've been there and I still get there from time to time. But what I mean by start saving right now is take a look at your budget. Take a look at all of your expenses, where all your money's going, and see if there's any way that you can live a little tighter if you're not already. For example, maybe you're not going to stores and, and shopping as much. Maybe you're not going to restaurants quite as much. Maybe you're not going to Starbucks quite as much. Take those little savings from things that you're not doing as much and put it into the bank to save for your down payment and moving expenses. Because I'll tell you, every little bit counts and it will add up. Now, if you're thinking about buying a home, now remember, doesn't have to be today, doesn't have to be tomorrow, it can be any time into the future. My team and I would love to sit down and talk to you and help you work out that goal and get you on the path. And in the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because every Friday we have a new video coming out for you.